Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the tilt EQ in Reaper. Now, to give you an idea how this works, as the plugin itself doesn't have a visual, I created this preset right here for the re EQ plugin. And I linked up some of the parameters to give you an idea of how the tilt EQ works. For example, if we boost it right here, it brings up the top end and brings down the low end simultaneously. And if we do the opposite, if we bring down the top end, it brings up the low end. And we could also adjust the frequency or the point where the tilt takes place right over here. So we could bring down the top end and bring up the low end at the same time, or bring up the top end and bring down the low end at the same time and then readjust the course of a point or the tilt point. But like I said, I set this up in re-EQ just so you could visualize what's happening. The plugin itself is over here. Let's search tilt EQ or just tilt. And right here is the tilt equalizer. Open it up. And like I said, it doesn't really look that special. We could process either stereo or mono. Let's leave it on stereo. We could adjust the center frequency, like I showed you before, and then the tilt. You want to boost or cut to create that tilting effect. And then finally, we have output gain. Now, what is the purpose of a tilt EQ? Well, it's a very subtle effect. And because of that, it doesn't have that peaky sound that a lot of EQs have. As you boost the top end, it starts to get annoying. Or if you want to cut the top end, it doesn't sound very natural. By using the tilt EQ with a very wide processing range, the result sounds very natural or pleasing as you don't hear the actual EQ. So I created a project with a bunch of different sounds so you can get an idea how this works. So let's start off with a drum loop, which sounds like this. And then right down over here, we can see the frequency that we're adjusting. So if we start at about 640 hertz, we're going to be boosting above it while cutting below it. Notice it gets brighter while also reducing some low end. Now let's adjust the frequency of where that tilting happens. If we go lower, Sounds a bit deeper. Or if we go higher, it gets brighter, but also thinner. So that's one side of the tilt EQ. But we could also cut to create a very different effect. Let's put this back to the default at 640 hertz. And now it's cut a little bit, which is going to boost the low end and cut the top end, creating a warmer sound. That's a bit too warm. So let's start at 20 kilohertz and bring it down. Notice how it makes it more pleasing as it reduces the top end, but it doesn't sound weird or peaky or phasey. It sounds very natural as it cuts out just the high frequencies. It's very useful for that purpose. Let's try a different sound. Here's a pad. Let's adjust that pad to be brighter or warmer using the Tilt EQ. I'll right click over here, go to Effects, Recently Used, and choose the Tilt Equalizer. Again, it starts at 640 hertz. Let's boost a bit and bring it up.
makes it a bit thinner as it gets brighter while removing low end at the same time. But now let's do the opposite. Let's cut it, bring this all the way up, make it a bit darker. But notice how natural it sounds. It doesn't sound like a filter, an old peaky. It's very natural and very usable as you're dealing with bright pads that start to get annoying in the top end. as you can make them warmer a lot easier. Let's try another sound. This time we'll use a piano. Let's make it brighter. or we can make it warmer going the other way. Now let's try a synth. Notice how buzzy that sounds. It's a little annoying on the top end. So you can cut it right here, bring up the frequency for a very natural top end. Or if you want it to sound thinner, just bring it up. Now let's try it on an acoustic guitar. We can make it brighter. We can filter out the top to make it sound warmer. And finally, let's try it on a bass guitar. This particular one has a lot of pick noise. It's a little annoying. So for this one, we could bring up a center frequency all the way. And let's cut back on the top end. And then we could bring this down to just cut off or roll off that annoying pick sound. Notice how much more focused that bass guitar is, as it doesn't have the top end getting in the way. Before, and after. And again, if you wanted more of the pick sound, just do it the other way around. Bring this up. But I think it sounds better the other way around. 
But notice the bass guitar still sounds very natural, which is the appeal of the tilt EQ, as it sounds very natural as it's cutting the top, or even as it's boosting the top while cutting the lows. So anyway, I think you can see how useful the tilt EQ can be. So I hope you learned something, I hope you use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.